the hyperimmunoglobulinemia D with periodic fever syndrome or heat syndrome is a monogenic autoinflammatory disease that is caused by biallelic and loss of function mutations in the MBK gene. The MBK gene encodes four mevalonide kinase enzyme that is a or catalyze a critical step on the cholesterol and uh, isoprenoid biosynthetic pathway. So uh, patients with HIT syndrome um, have, have a, a partial uh, uh, stop of the pathway and this provokes the uh, deficiency of some compounds of the final part of the pathway. Uh, and curiously, these compounds are negative regulators of the inflammasome. What the inflammasome is? Probably this is the, the main question to relate HIT syndrome with IL-1 beta. Um, the inflammasome complex is a multiprotein complex uh, in the cytosol of the cells that once activated uh, provoke the active form of IL-1 beta and other inflammatory uh, cytokines. Consequently, the deficiency of negative regulators of the inflammasome in patients with heat provoke an overstimulation of the inflammasome and consequently an overproduction of IL-1 beta. This is, is a rare disease according to the definition of rare disease by the European Union, but um, in our experience in Spain, for example, we have identified during the past 10 years only 41 patients with uh, HIT syndrome, which is a large number for, uh, the, for, for our country. Uh, you, uh, for example, uh, some of the review about the HIT syndrome more or less collect around 100 patients. The previous treatment were an important problem in, in patients because the, uh, most of the patients uh, were diagnosed before as other forms of hereditary periodic uh, fever syndrome. And most of them were treated with antibiotics, with colchicin, with corticoids, with non-sterile uh, anti-inflammatory drugs, with um, uh, intravenous immunoglobulins with several drugs. Uh, uh, most of them ha have, don't have a, a good response to uh, any of these drugs or some of them could have a partial response to high dose of colchicine. Probably the treatment with corticoids uh, may provoke um, a partial to good response uh, to, um, to stop an uh, acute inflammatory episode, but uh, the corticoids are um, drugs with a lot of side effects that uh, prevent uh, their use in long-lasting long, uh, treatments. Um, with the arrival of the biologics, uh, there were reports uh, with good response with uh, etanercept and anti-TNF drug, uh, occasional reports with an acumra, but uh, overall in a very good review of uh, an international consortium, the, the response to, uh, to uh, biologics is also uh, individual or patient uh, dependent.